Usually today, when we talk about AI, what we're really talking about is machine learning, specifically a branch called deep learning, where neural nets are trained to learn by example from large data sets without being pre-programmed with specific rules. These techniques have led to major breakthroughs in historically hard AI problems, like image and speech recognition, but they have not worked for natural language understanding, and they are by no means silver bullets for every AI problem. Natural language understanding is still far from being solved. That's why Siri or that annoying customer service chatbot are still constantly apologizing. I'm sorry, I didn't understand you. Now, even if you do have a data set that is sufficiently labeled to train a machine learning model or help make an educated guess as to what people will say to your chatbot, you still need to script responses. Conversation designer is actually a hot new job category here in Silicon Valley, or what my out-of-work journalist friend calls job security for English majors. <laughs> now, wait a second. Why can't we just use an algorithm for natural language generation, which should let the computer formulate a theoretically sensible answer based on what it learns? The reason why we can't do this is your fault, people. People, as it turns out, see terrible things on the internet. And when chatbots learn from people's inputs unchecked, they go off the rails very quickly, like poor Microsoft Tay here which famously turned into a Hitler-loving sex robot within 24 hours of being fed on a diet of tweets. We're just lucky that she wasn't eating Reddit. This Tay situation honestly says more about human nature than about robots. Our biases creep into our data sets, and the bias software that's created is actually a reflection of our worst selves. So, in order to avoid creating Hitler-loving sex robots, we're stuck writing rules or hand-authoring bot responses to be brand appropriate and anticipate everything anyone could possibly say to a chatbot, which feels like an impossible problem. However, while it's true that there are an infinite number of possible combinations of words, the frequency at which words appear in language actually obeys something called Zipf's Law, which observed that the most frequent word appears twice as often as the second most frequent, and so on. What we realized when we analyzed our data is the same distribution curve holds true, not just for words, but for phrases and sentences. In fact, 95% of first input to all chatbots are covered by just 1,800 words, and the average branching factor decreases with each successive word. In other words, people are boring. <laughs> we walk around saying the same thing most of the time. Specifically these things, which are the top 50 inputs across all English-speaking chatbots on our platform, universal regardless of the use case. And they made me bleep some of them out, as you can see. <laughs> um, in fact, because we know the top 10,000 things that people are likely to say in general conversation, we've open source chit chat libraries so developers don't need to reinvent the wheel. 10,000 is also the magic number of responses or rules required on average to cover a specific domain, which boils down to about 160 hours of human labor or a month of work prior to launch. <laughs> 